In the early 21st century, motorcycle makers started testing diesel engines for their enhanced reliability, fuel efficiency, and incredible torque. A small Dutch company decides to create a motorcycle based on a three-cylinder turbo diesel from Volkswagen Lupo. And it was a completely new perspective on a diesel motorcycle compared to any other presented before it, simply because essentially, in terms of dimensions and weight, it is a true sport bike, but with torque figures higher than those of the Triumph Rocket 3. The Thunderstar motorcycle project was initiated by Star Twin co-owner Kies van der Star, who had been observing the production of diesel motorcycles for many years with some dissatisfaction, knowing that new diesel engine developments in the automotive industry could be just as suitable, if not better, for motorcycles than a regular gasoline engine. Diesel motorcycles of the early 2000s, such as Neander and Track Diesel, were very promising projects with huge potential, ready to enter the market. Over time, some of them could indeed be legally acquired, but they did not gain widespread popularity due to either their outdated nature, where such an engine was impractical, or conversely due to excessive complexity in design, making the production of such motorcycles prohibitively expensive. StarTwin's plan and proposal involved an automotive-oriented, already geared towards mass production, technologically advanced three-cylinder turbo diesel. It was later recognized as the most eco-friendly globally with a fuel consumption of just 3 liters per 100 kilometers. Secondly, unlike their competitors, StarTwin began designing a sports motorcycle, attributing this to the complexity of developing sport bikes. Converting a sport motorcycle to a touring or road one is easier than vice versa. Based on this logic, Wonderstar invited Jaron Bernard to collaborate in designing the motorcycle. He designed the motorcycle entirely in 3D before starting its assembly in 2005. In the same year, Startwin unveiled a fully assembled motorcycle at the Motorai Motorcycle Show event in Amsterdam. By the way, Startwin is the oldest Ducati dealer in the Netherlands, which celebrated its 40th anniversary in 2019. Its name may be linked to the Ducati engine's legend, or it could be a playful reference to the owner's surname, the Van der Star brothers Kies and Hans. Thanks to the smart use of lightweight components and economical design, the Thunderstar 1200 TDI weighs only 205 kilograms. Almost everything you see with the naked eye is designed by us, says Star Twins Jerome Bernard. We employed different elements from automobiles and motorcycles. We fabricated car parts to be lighter and enhanced the strength of motorcycle parts. Undoubtedly, the top question authors of diesel sport bikes are asked to this day is about the power unit it possesses. The stock engine of the Volkswagen Lupo has a displacement of 1200 cubic centimeters and delivers 61 horsepower. Like all advanced diesel engines of that time, it can boast direct injection, a turbocharger and an intercooler. At the initial stages, the engine power in the motorcycle had already been increased to 70 horsepower. Later, gradually, they increased the power to 100 horsepower and the torque to an unprecedented 250 for a motorcycle. They gradually raised it to observe and analyze how such a locomotive moment would impact the 5-speed transmission system over time and overall on the motorcycle's design. By the way, the transmission was borrowed from the FJ1200. In addition, Thunderbike is also equipped with quite decent components. Many parts are manufactured in the Netherlands, says Bernard. We used a top-of-the-line fork and rear shock absorber from White Power. Both are very lightweight. For example, the front fork tubes are constructed using aluminum. The brakes have been sourced from the British PFM Performance, showcasing ultralight brake discs and radial calipers, in addition to carbon wheels provided by Blackstone Technology. But how does such an exotic vehicle ride, sound and feel overall? The manufacturer responds as follows. Thunderstar rides just like a gasoline-powered sport bike, except of course for the enormous torque. And this is on any gear. This means that you absolutely don't care which gear you're in, because it accelerates quite strongly on each one. 
Plus, it has a unique sound and you can experience it right now. The production of this sport bike was not planned to be launched into mass production, but the manufacturer did not rule out collaborating with other companies. At that time, StarTwin's maximum ambition was to produce only a small batch of motorcycles. According to the creator of Thunderstar, it is a real prototype and was designed accordingly. For example, a new casting method was used for manufacturing the engine casing. Today, an exclusive diesel sport bike can only be found at small moto events. Little is known about its current fate as well as the cost of producing such motorcycles. And even in our days, it can be confidently stated that a diesel motorcycle is a relic of the past. However, 15 to 20 years ago, the concept proposed by StarTwin appeared to be very promising. A sport tourer with such an economical and practical heart could and should have occupied its niche, and such vehicles would probably have been on the roads for a very long time. The only significant downside of Thunderstar is its vibration. If you have a passion for diesel motorcycles, be sure to inform us in the comments and support the video by giving it a like. See you here.